hello guys welcome to beauty blogging 101 today's lesson is going to be the very first lesson in the series and we will be talking about the five important questions you need to ask yourself before you start a blog whether it's a beauty blog whether it's a fashion blog any type of blog you need to have the answers to these five questions in the grand scheme of things this phase is actually supposed to be the easiest but it ends up being the most difficult because if you don't go through this phase properly and correctly then definitely your entire like literally almost your entire beauty blogging experience your entire blogging experience will all come to nothing because you are going to get to a stage where you're going to have to stop and retrace your steps so the five important questions you need to ask yourself before you start a blog one why do i want to start a blog two what will my blog be about three what will be the purpose of my blog Four, who will my blog cater to? And five, how will my blog function? These five questions are literally the beauty blocks to your blog's success. So I would advise that you sit down, write these five questions down and think through the answers properly. Put the answers and the questions, or rather, the questions and the answers down on a piece of paper and make sure that you always have them handy throughout your blogging journey. So one, why do I want to start a blog? When I started my blog, I knew what I wanted my blog to do. I knew I wanted to teach regular women on the street how to do their makeup using cheap products that they could find in the open market. I knew the type of makeup looks I wanted to teach them but I didn't know how to do makeup. I didn't know anything about makeup and so I started watching YouTube videos. I watched Aubrey of Fafnetix 3, I watched Christine of Christina, I watched Ren of Makeup by Ren Ren. In the introductory video, in my introductory video, which um, I will put a link to um, somewhere in the sidebar and in the um, description box below, I talked about what I discovered while watching these ladies and um, going through my makeup face. When I learned more about makeup, I knew then that the reason why I wanted to start a blog was all wrong. The mission that I had set for myself in starting a blog had to change. If I had taken the time out to sit down, ask myself why I wanted to start a blog and write down the answer, then I would have known that for three major reasons, the initial idea of starting a blog and the reason why was crap. I'm gonna tell you the three main reasons why that was crap. One, I didn't know anything about makeup. Two, if I knew about makeup, I would have known better than to be talking to regular women on the street about using cheap products to do makeup. Three, Instead of trying to promote brands that had no sauce, literally, I would have focused from the beginning on indigenous Nigerian brands and even drugstore brands that were actually available in the open market but nobody knew about them. The result of that, if I had, you know, like taken those three things into cognizance when I started was that I would have taken several steps in a short period of time instead of going years in my blogging journey before realizing this. So I would have cut short my learning process if I had just sat down, you know, been a bit retrospective, asked myself certain questions and answered them. Two, what will my blog be about? <laughs> yes, makeup. And so what? Everybody is talking about makeup these days. I mean, look left, right, center, everywhere. There's talk of makeup everywhere. Why am I going to leave all the makeup blogs in the universe and come and read your blog? There are different topics about makeup. There's generalized talk about makeup. There's niche topics about makeup. There's um, very specific ultra targeted topics about makeup and even blogs about makeup so i can decide to talk only about mascaras uh, or lipsticks or lip glosses or foundations i mean is yours going to be a niche blog or is it going to be a general blog for every sarah sally and yutsundu 
if perhaps yours is going to be a general blog or even if it's going to be a niche blog what is going to differentiate yours from all the other niche blogs out there you have to give it a twist like your own personal twist for me I would say my personal twist is the way I always always end up adding a bit of dry humor into what I do when I'm not shy that is because I'm very shy so I'm always smiling I have a gap which is very unique to me I have natural hair which I didn't originally start with but somehow along the way I've been able to carve a different shader for myself which whenever people see or really already know that oh that is Barbara that is the reason why people come to my blog again and again because they like the way um, I review products or the way I talk about brands or the way I use brands the way I do my makeup like there is something unique about me I'm a very personal person did I actually say that I'm a very personal person so I'm all about personal speech like when I'm writing I'm writing like I'm telling a story to just one person so I have my own way of writing I have my own tone of voice which is unique to me and which my followers and my fans like and that is what they look to when they read my blog or watch my videos or you know just visit any of my spaces in general so what is yours going to be question three what will be the purpose of my blog is my blog the result of a passion or am I just do I just want to do it because I want to join other people or my friend down the road is doing it and so I have to do it too. She gets to speak to thousands of people and get people to hear what she has to say. I must get my voice heard too. Is that the reason why? You have to define the exact purpose of your blog. For me, the initial purpose of my blog was to teach. but. After a while, when I, you know, started developing relationships with Nigerian brands, the reason the purpose changed. I now wanted my blog to be like a source of information about the Nigerian makeup industry, the Nigerian beauty and cosmetics industry. That was what I wanted my blog to be at a point in time. But over the years, that also has evolved. So it's only static purpose. You have to be able to, you know, be dynamic you know go with the times so now the purpose of my blog has changed and it is now to be a source of inspiration information and education and you know this series the spirit plugin 101 series fits perfectly into that and if you've watched some of my other youtube videos where i'm not just trying to <laughs> misbehave you will see that I'm always you know trying to teach something I'm not just showing you something for the fun of it I'm trying to teach pass across a piece of information or educate or something so you have to find the purpose for your blog is it to teach or is it to entertain it can be to entertain it doesn't always have to be because I want to you know be a resource or teach people something no you can it can be to make people laugh or smile or feel good about themselves you know yes a beauty blog or a makeup blog can be a source of entertainment too so or do you want to just be a source of information about something like beauty in lagos you definitely have to find out the purpose of your blog just so you're not hanging in limbo because if you don't, then you're going to be bitten about the bush a lot and people are going to come in and out as followers and readers of your blog. Who will your blog cater to? I work in advertising, marketing communications, and we call those people the target audience. So who is your target audience? Are they teenagers? Are they career women? Are they working moms who have only like two minutes to do their makeup in the morning? Or are they... I don't know really rich <laughs> women who can who only want to buy the Christian Dior's and Tom Ford's and that is all they want like you have to figure out who you will be talking to one thing is your audience your target audience can also be makeup professionals like makeup artists 
you know they could come to your blog as a source of information about their regular clients and what their clients always want to use and always want to buy and then they can stock it and always have it on hand when those clients request for those products so it doesn't always have to be like the regular consumer audience it can also be a professional one thing I've learned though um, is that your audience are actually people like you they can be from the same background as you maybe in the same profession or same age or they like the things you like or they talk the way you talk behave the way you behave those are the people it will be easiest to attract initially because then you have a lot in common and it won't be difficult for you to get through to them because you guys live in the same space in your head also your target audience you have the primary audience and you have the secondary audience so your target audience is divided into primary and secondary your primary audience can be 25 year old 25 to 30 year olds and your secondary audience can be 18 to 25 24 year olds so they are your secondary audience because you also have to think about when they reach the age of your target audience you don't want to lose them along the way because your primary audience will outgrow your content people will grow into your content and you have to reach them before they get there if not you will lose them so focus on your primary audience and your secondary audience at the same time you have to find a balance you will find a balance if you sit down and think about it properly for me I like to think that from the research I've done on my content and people who read they are people like me actually they love natural hair or have natural hair they like makeup not too much they like um, the everyday type of makeup not into heavy not into light once in a while they want to try out some color they are fashionable year bit but they wouldn't exactly call fashion their life's calling some of them will but not all so I mean I consider them my audience my target audience those are some of the people that my blog my content and my brand caters to how will my blog function now that means how will I put up my content I've figured out the reason why I want to start a blog I figured out what my blog will be about the purpose of my blog and who I'm going to be talking to how am I going to put the content out there how is my target audience going to get the content to consume how will it function I have a regular 9 to 5 job so I wake up at 5 I'm out of the house at 7 30 and I sometimes I come back home by 8 o'clock so I have to find a routine that works for me and I found that but you have to also find a routine that works for you as well you don't have to post every single day you will burn out especially if blogging is not your full-time job you will burn out just find a shuttle that works for you some people only post videos on Wednesdays or maybe twice a month and then some people write blog posts three times a week on Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays some people do all their work on weekends and then they schedule to post during the week just figure out something that works for you because your blog has to function your content has to go out there your target audience has to be reached your message has to be preached so figure it out while you're figuring out how your blog will function also keep in mind that you have other channels you have your social media you have your networking events you have your youtube channel you have other tasks that you have to perform along the way of creating your content the final content that is going to go out to your consumers these are all touch points that you have to consider when thinking about how your blog will function because these are all the places where your target audience where they are your message has to be preached differently on these different platforms your Facebook your Twitter your Instagram your tumblr if you have one your YouTube channel your blog if you are on Vine if you're on Pinterest snapchat Instagram stories there's so many you have to you know figure out which one works how it works how it works for you your brand and your content you have to keep all those in mind people ask me left right and center how I can manage to juggle everything but I mean it's been six years now so if I haven't found a routine that works for me 
then I shouldn't hear talking to you yeah I shouldn't but I found what works for me and that is um, why I'm able to produce the content that you watch and you read and you see sometimes life happens life does happen sometimes life happens and I'm not able to do that as often as I want to or when I say I would but then I'm always back on track and back on schedule because I figured out how my blog functions so those are the five important questions you need to ask yourself before you start a blog so let's just quickly recap those five questions why do I want to start a blog will it serve a worthy purpose or is it just an offhand decision what will my blog be about am I going to be talking to everybody and nobody or am I going to be talking to certain people about certain things what will be the purpose of my blog to teach or to be a source of information or to entertain or to educate or just to occupy space mm -hmm. it's possible who will my blog cater to who are my target audience are they like me or are they younger than me or are they older than me do they like witty remarks or they just like straightforward simple sentences and content do they like a lot of pictures or do they like text and how will my blog function? Am I only going to be producing content on weekends and posting on weekdays? Or am I going to create time every single day of the week to work on my content and my brand? Those are the five questions you need to ask yourself, provide concrete, solid answers to before you even say, oh, this is my space on the internet. Mm -hmm. before you say this is my space on the internet mm -hmm. five questions five answers sit down make it plain laminate it store it you can even hang it up on the wall because that is going to be your pathway to success to blogging success that is the end of the first lesson in the beauty blogging 101 series and i hope you guys liked it i hope you learned something i will really be looking forward to your comments or your questions and um, even your contributions to this lesson the second lesson will focus on what i actually need to start a blog and not what i think i need so you guys should watch out for that lesson subscribe to my channel Barbara and 923 um, thumbs up this video and please share it to as many people as you think will need this type of content are they looking to start a blog or even if they've already started a blog maybe it's additional information that they could use and they could they would need um, thank you so much for watching I love you guys <laughs> bye